Welcome to the Minecraft Wheel Spin Challenge. Wow, that was uh, really intense. Today, we're going to be doing... Okay, let's stop that. We're going to be building a house in Minecraft, but it's completely up to chance what we build. Every time I need to make a decision, no matter how big or how small, I will spin a wheel to decide. But why is it the extreme edition? I I'm not going to do the noise again. Well, I've done this before and the houses were both quite small. So this time I've created my own challenge where things may get quite uh, big. Before we start, let's spin a wheel to decide whether you should subscribe or not. If it lands on yes, you have to subscribe. It's the rules. I didn't make them. Yes, I did. But please follow them. Oh, what's it going to be? It is, of course, a big fat yes, although that was that was close. Now we have realized that you have to subscribe. It's not an option. Our first decision we have to make is where to build this extreme house. And we're going to be doing this in modded Minecraft, so we'll have some modded biomes thrown in. We have the Badlands, the Blue Agate Tiger, the Giant Spruce Tiger, the Ice Spikes biome. Ew, 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 ew. We have the Mushroom Fields, the Poise Forest, the Wisteria Forest, and the Poppy biome. Let's spin this wheel and see what we get. Please don't be Badlands or Ice Spikes. Okay, okay. The Wisteria forest. Whoa, look at this. This is very nice. Oh my gosh. We can build anywhere in this zone, although this mountain bit next to it and this overhang here, very cool. So we have to build here, but how much space can we use? Now we have to choose our plot size and we can have 20 by 20 blocks, 40 by 40, 60 by 60, 80 by 80, or 100 by 100. Let's spin the wheel and find out. It is, okay, 80 by 80. So we've got a lot of space, basically. We don't have to fill the entire thing, by the way. So although this is very pretty here, apart from this floating tree. Oh my gosh, that is terrible. I think we're gonna build over here because these mountains in the background are still nice and we've got a bit more, you know, grass here that we can work with. So let's choose our 80 by 80 plot. It's quite a big amount of space. So that's how much space we have. A very decent amount, to be honest. That's quite nice. But before we start building this house, we need to decide how many floors it's gonna have, just to give me an idea. We have one to five. Let's have a gander. What's it going to be? Oh gosh, that's a lot of floors. That is four floors. A pretty tall house, it seems. Yeah, but now the big decision that I'm quite scared about. What type of block are we going to be using for the walls? We've got quite a few options here. We've got wood, we've got stone, we've got brick, we've got wool, we've got patterned blocks, we've got glass blocks, we've got earthy blocks, and we've got minerals and gems. Please, whatever it is, do not be glass. I'll take anything else. Oh, actually, that's not what I wanted either. Wool. Wool, wool blocks. Right. That's not a good thing. But now we get to choose a, what color of wool at least. So it could be, you know, like quite a nice color of wool. And honestly, we've got quite a lot of nice colors here. So uh, let, let's see what we get, shall we? Everyone loves a good wheel spin and we get purple. Oh gosh, this is going to be so obnoxious. But luckily, we have lots of different shades of like purple wool here we're going to be able to use, all right? Now we've got two more decisions to make. One of them is involving windows. And this is why it's an extreme version because how many windows is this house going to have? This four-story house, how many windows is it going to have? Zero, one to 10, 11 to 15, 15 to 20, or 50, which I threw in there as a joke. So let's hope it's not 50 because that would be a lot of we uh, windows, wouldn't it? But no, it's good, reasonable 11 to 15. That, we can work with that. But what type of window? Tall, square, or wide? It is going to be square. Okay. Now I like to add towers onto my houses, and I need to know if I need to add any towers on before we get building. So do we want towers on this build? And it's going to be yes. All right. Well, how many towers? I don't want a lot here. One would be nice, but we've got five. We've got five towers. That's a lot of towers. Oh my gosh. Well, there are all the decisions we have to worry about for now. We're going to have a few more later. 
There's not a lot of space on the ground here, but wait, maybe we can make one more decision. Should I do it as a floating island? I kind of would want this to say no, because it's going to take a long time to build a floating island. Okay, good. Now we know it's not a floating island. Let's get to work by clearing out some of these trees and maybe do a bit of terraforming. So we started off by getting rid of all the trees here, but don't worry, we're probably going to be adding some more in later, maybe some custom ones, I don't know. And we had to do a bit of terraforming to make it work as there was just like no flat space here whatsoever. And obviously we've got to build a pretty big house in this area, especially as it's got four floors and five towers. Speaking of which, I got working on the layout. Normally I would use colours like purple wool to plan the layout, then change it to nicer blocks, but no, this is what we've got to build the house of. But wait a second, we have to pause as I didn't decide what block I should use as an accent block. Taking out every type other than wool, and we are going to have as our accent block, stone. Wait, brick. So I found this nicely textured brick block here, which I actually ended up really liking. And I decided to use this as it had like stairs and slabs as well. And just a single block of bricks just doesn't look really good. And this also matched very nicely. I also used some other brick blocks, which were marble bricks. And those little bits there, those little nooks and crannies you can see, because I thought that looked quite nice and had a nice little contrast to this uh, very purple theme we've got going. And you can see I'm using regular old purple wool for the towers and then different shades of purple wool for the walls of the the actual house itself. However, we have to make a few more choices now of this world because I feel like I can't go any further until I decide what roof block I need and also what colour it has to be. Oh gosh, please be a nice colour. Firstly, stairs or blocks for this roof? It's going to be blocks, okay. But what block? Of course, we've taken out the other two. So what are we going to have? It's, of course, going to be a patterned block. Oh, dearie me. But what colour, eh? We've taken out purple, so it's going to be a nice colour. Now it's going to be green. It's it's green. That could work. That could work. So although this wasn't my intention, we have somehow made a very sort of cartoony slash witch-like house with lots of purple and lots of green. And I actually used two types of this block, this ripple block I think it is. It's one of the pattern blocks from Wallpapercraft. As you can see to make this sort of stripey effect, I thought that just looked quite cool. And once that was done we could finish off these towers and get them looking how I wanted them to look with lots of detail on the side of these because the wool by itself looked quite ugly. I'm not gonna lie. I did not like how it looked whatsoever. I was quite annoyed when we got wool as our block. But hey, that goes to show that I'm not cheating with this challenge and in fact I am taking every single choice that I have seen seriously. So there we have, we've got five towers on this thing. One of them is a bit smaller and the other four are obviously quite a bit bigger with two of them being a bit fatter as well. But now that that's done, we've got a few more decisions to make. So honestly, it's looking okay, if not a bit dark at the moment. It's a bit boring on this side, but every other side, I think I'm quite happy with it as a build. Not the colour theme I'd ever build with, but I'm happy. I'm happy. And the first decision we have to make now is what to use for the floor. So once again, I've taken out the other blocks we've already used and we are going to get... <gasps> no! Glass. Glass floors. This is not what I wanted. At least let's get a good colour, eh? Please, please be a good colour. But of course we get blue, which does not match whatsoever, really. Oh my gosh. I'm not going to time lapse this. I'm just going to do it quickly with a click of my fingers. It's done. Are you happy? Are you happy, Wheel? I'm not happy, Mr. Wheel. I think it looks stupid. But hey, Mr. Wheel, what colour should we do for the windows? Please be nice, please be nice, please be nice, please be nice. And it is, of course, white, no red. I hate this wheel. All right, it, it doesn't look too bad. Before we decorate the inside, though, let's work on the garden. I left a bit of space over here for a bit of garden around the side of this thing. But what type of garden should we build, Mr. Wheel? I don't know why I've chosen a gender for this wheel. It could be a her, this wheel, I guess. I, I don't know. But either way, what type of garden? It's going to be a trashy garden. Okay, I guess that just means it's going to look really bad. Well, let's give it our best shot. So what is trashy in Minecraft? Well, I added in loads of podzil and coarse dirt and mycelium on the ground, plus a kind of ugly looking wall around the outside. Then I just added in piles of barrels around, piles of dirt around, coal on fire, fire pits, etc. Plus some trees which had no leaves on them. It's just not very nice. So it's looking a bit... Well, trashy, I guess now, but it's done so we can get working on the inside. And we've got lots of space for rooms in here. There's 
four floors of goodness. By the way, I counted all the windows and I think we have about 13. So well within the limit. Looks like a weird disco in here, but anyway, let's get decorating. But first, how many rooms should this build have? Just a simple numbers one here. And of course, the amount of rooms we're gonna have is a total of four to six. Okay, that's not that many. So I'm gonna quickly split this up into six rooms as that's the maximum we can have. There's four floors and six rooms. So downstairs, we have two rooms. We've got one here and we've got one here. Upstairs, again, we've got another two rooms. We've got one here, small one, and then one in here as well, a big one. And then we've got another one here, which is five, and then here, is six so six rooms in total so this room here is going to be the kitchen so it's gonna have a theme let's see what theme we're gonna have for the kitchen we've got a few different themes here I'll only explain the ones that we get picked and the one we get is old-fashioned okay so it's kind of hard to make a old-fashioned kitchen with a bright blue floor but here's my attempt. We've got a little sort of storage area over here with some spruce crates. We've got a nice little fireplace because old fashioned, yes, there is no chimney and it's very clear that it just leads up to nowhere, but movie magic. I don't know. Then over here, we've got the kitchen itself. We've got some counters, a fridge in the corner over here. You know, like one of those classy old time fridges. We've got more cabinets and stuff over here in a center piece as well which is very nice We've got a table over here for eating on and then like some cabinets and also a little pantry over here with some food in it very nice very basic but you know what it's tricky to make an old-fashioned kitchen this way but let's move on to the lounge now which we're gonna put in here lounge slash entry hall as we don't have many rooms we'll just see if we can make it work we're going to have a stripey feet what Okay, turns out there's not many stripey things in Minecraft, but I tried the best I could to make this sort of living room slash hallway as livable as possible. Over here, you can see we've got some hats on it. N none of them are really stripey in any way, but look, the floor's now stripey. We use some light blue glass as well. Oh, isn't that wonderful? And look, we got some stripey carpet. And look, a stripey sofa with a stripey TV and some bookshelves, which are kind of stripey. Look at this cabinet. There's a stripe in the middle of it. And over here, look at this stripey floor. And this armor, which isn't stripey, but the shield is stripey. Wow, crazy. Okay, let's move on to the next floor. And honestly, I think I might just make this a bedroom. And then this here can be like a little library or something. I think an enchanting table might fit in there. So I might do that in there. But what theme is this bedroom going to be? It is, of course, going to be... Under the sea themed, right. Are you ready for a trip to the ocean? Because I am, look, whoa, we're under the sea. Look at all these fish, whoa, we're under the sea. Is that coral? No, that's definitely not leaves. That's definitely coral. <gasps> look, fish in a fish tank. Wow, it's like we're under the sea. And look, sea pickles. And look, more fish in a fish tank. <gasps> wow, we're under the sea. This is definitely an under the sea theme. I do agree. All right, let's do this room here, which we're not going to do a theme. We're just going to decorate it because the next two floors have got a lot of decorating to do as well. Some basic decoration, but it's quite cute. So there you go. Now to move on to this room here, which is going to be, what is it going to be? Normally you don't have this many rooms in a house, I feel like. Let's make it the fun room. All right. And let's just throw a load of rooms in here and see what we get for the theme of this fun room. Yeah, that's right. It's exotic tropical island. Right. So now when you come up the stairs, you can head up here to a lovely desert island getaway where we've got some boats to travel around on. Little desert islands with some deck chairs to lie on. You know, just everything you'd ever need in a house room. Oh, and look, a balcony out here, which is lovely as well. What a really cool house. We've got one final room. What can I put in here? Let's do another spin of the wheel. And this room is going to be completely based around this theme. And that theme is regal luxury. What is that? I googled it and I still have no idea. So this is luxury to me. A room at the top of your house, which is filled by donkeys and all they can eat in hay. I think that's just the perfect room and that screams regal luxury or whatever it was that it was meant to be. And there you go. That's that's that. As you can probably tell, I, I got kind of bored and sick of decorating this in such a weird way. But you know what? The house is done. I'm happy with it. 
I'm gonna remove this white border now. The wheel has given us some weird things today, but you know what? There's our house and I'm happy with it. Fortunately though, that is all we've got time for. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you did enjoy. Make sure to leave a like and comment and subscribe if you're new and I shall see you another time. Goodbye.